Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to work on decorating my um, little craft storage box for the Halloween stuffed and altered uh, embellishment box handmade card and treat swap. <laughs> that was a mouthful. I try to reduce the wording whenever I actually go to um, put the title later. But um, it's pretty much almost filled up, guys. Uh, there's a couple spots left. Maybe by the time I, you know, edit this video and have it up, they'll be all full. But, um, you know, if you're interested, I'll have my email there. But if it's full, it'll say that it's full. Um, and all the items I'm using, you know, well not all of them, some I purchased recently and some are in my stash and some are dyes that I already have that if they're still available, things like that, I'll link in the description box and those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. And I'm going to take this off and to be honest, I'm going to warm it up a little bit maybe with a heat tool so I can take this off easier. So uh, let me take this off okay. and I'll be right back. So I use my heat tool just to warm it up a little bit and try to peel that off and that helped pretty well. Um, so I just have a bunch of things that I've brought out. I always... Not always, but pretty much start out with some lace. This is from like Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I like to just get that glued down. And then I put some topper paper on that. So I'm going to do that. I already have my glue gun going because I knew I was going to be doing that. And, you know, I just got these papers in the other day from the paper library. Oh, that is a cute one. I wanted something like this, something with like maybe checkers or something. This is really cute. I think we'll go with that guy. Yep. Um, again, from the paper library from Crafts Companion. The only thing is this stuff is pretty thin, so I'm going to back it up with another paper. Ooh, that's interesting, huh? Some red and like... But I was going to just do black, so let me grab some black paper. Or, hmm, I mean there's so many colors that would be really cute, right? Like the dark green, it's just kind of unexpected. That's fun. Um, oh, you mean some bright green. Okay, what I'm going to do is cut down this paper. Let's measure this because I haven't done this in a while, so I forget. But um, if you are in the swap, this is what I'm expecting. You know, you're going to decorate it up however you like. But um, usually people cover this with paper. So if you're going to do that, you know, I just give it a quick measure. And from here to, I'm not looking at the little tip there. I'm looking basically where it ends. Um, it's like four and five eighths about. A five eighths. What am I talking about? Four and seven eighths. Sorry, it's a little bit smaller than four and seven eighths. So I would say, to be honest, four and three quarter. That way, it's not hanging over the edge. So four and three quarter. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while. By six and three eighths. So six and three eighths. Four and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut this paper down. I'm gonna cut some black paper down to that size, and I'll be right back. Okay, so again, I went with the bright green, and I'll give you the measurement again four and three quarters by six and three eighths so just less than half right six and three eighths as you see it fits on there really nicely I like to corner around it just to give it the same shape as the edge there so let me get my corner rounder and then I'm gonna cut my decorative paper and basically because again that decorative paper is kind of weak so um, I don't know if I want really I guess the half inch side on this it's really round I'll show you what the quarter inch side looks like Actually, a quarter inch would be better, huh? And I am picky enough that I will redo that. So I'm going to cut this again. Same sizing, and I'm just going to corner around with the quarter inch side, okay? I'll be right back. We have that that's going to go on there, but I'm going to put the lace down first. And then to top that off, I'm going to top this on there. So again, if this was four and three quarter by six and three eighths, I'll do the next one four and a half by six and... Uh, let me see, I want to take a quarter off that and an eighth. I'll okay, be right back. So roughly four and a half by six and an eighth. Okay, I have my paper cut for the next time, for the second one, because we are making two cases. So just I'm making one in this video, but you are going to make two cases. Um, and again, I'll corner around this one too. Okay, I would also um, stitch this, but I think I'm going to cover it up with so much with like the cheesecloth stuff that I have and everything else that I have going. So I'm not going to take the time to stitch it, but that'd be really cute. Um, so for right now, we're just going to glue. So I'm going to glue this 
to this guy. Um, you know, with a lot of swaps, people would make shakers into it or make the whole top a shaker, which looks really, really cute. There's all kinds of fun things we can do. I mean, just the sky's the limit. Have fun with this, of course. Um, don't make it too, too bulky, but, you know, I'm putting, like, these little skeletons on there and all these things, so it's fun to add a little something. Um, put this to the side for right now because I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to glue this on. And I usually just go right around the very edge. So let's see what we can do here. This guy is not quite ready. It's been on for a little bit. Okay, so I do a little bit like that. And then when I bring it around, of course, we just kind of curl it around the edge. And I try to stay right close to the edges as I can. Let me get through this thing. go and I'll just keep going around okay We're adding here and up to here and I'll come back yeah, when I get to that around this other end here a little bit more in than I would like that's okay oh, way more glue popped in there okay there we go I just cut that off straight and then, of course, we clean up the little glue, errant, errant glue pieces later. Okay. And then this guy. Now, I'm just going to stick this on here. Now, when you open this, you are going to see from the inside. Some people like to decorate the inside. Um, know that this has little cavities, like little recessed areas, should I say, where this closes up really well. So if you do cover it, it kind of impedes with that. So whatever you place in here, you don't want to put, like, anything that's going to slip out anyway, right? So just be careful with that. Looks really pretty. Um, clean. Again, I can just put the glue all over but I think what I'm gonna do this time just to make it look a little nicer is just put glue around the edges so that from the inside doesn't look too like there's glue all over the place usually I just put glue all over and so if that's easier for you then do it but um, for right now I'm just gonna put glue on here and you kinda have to work quickly and I used to do part of it and then the other parts so maybe that's what I'll do right now because it does start drying on you so just do like half of it and then get some more glue going like on here And again, this is just an idea. You can decorate however you like, of course. That's what this is all about. But use at least four or more embellishments if that includes layers or paper or whatever, you know. Okay, so that guy's still in hot and on. I probably am going to take this little guy from the Spellbinders dies that I recently reviewed. I mean, look at the little ghost. There's so many things in here that I want to pop in as my handmade items, so we'll do that in the next video. Okay, right now we're just decorating, I think. I'm going to take this guy and cut it out of some black paper. Maybe something shiny just to make it pop, I don't know. And then this one, I want to get the spider web. And I was debating on if I should make it a shaker or not, but I think there's a lot going on. So I'm just going to cut this from white paper, okay? And I'll be right back. I have this really old paper pack. It's Enchanted Christmas uh, from Precious Companion, but it has black glitter paper. And what I love about their samples in the front is that it's actually another piece of paper that you can still use. And I think my die might fit on this, so we'll try it. If not, I'll bring out some paper, but I do love that every little bit that you see, you can actually use. Okay, I'll be back. Here. It's kind of an off-white, which I kind of like, so um, looks nice. We'll have those pieces. And, okay, so let me open these up, because I'm sure it's going to take a second to get these out of here. And... Um, what I'm going to do also, <laughs> these are so cute, is basically cut this off. So it has like a little hook on the top, but I'm just going to cut it. I probably would use my Tim Holtz scissors, but that cut easy enough. So I have this little guy that I'm going to stick on here. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so cute. Um, and then I'll open up one of the rings. I'll be right back. Okay. So with this guy, I'm going to take that off. And again, I generally use a jewelry plier or something like that. Um, but if you don't have it, don't feel like you have to have jewelry stuff. This is just a really good pair of <laughs> the Tim Holtz so this is probably the oldest, one of the oldest scissors I have. And like I said, in the next video, we'll fill this up. Again, fill it up with things that can be used in an actual, like, paper craft project, which, I mean, mostly a card, you know, geared towards cards. I will probably put some beads in mine because people like to make, like, tassels for, like, their journals and things. So that's uh, permissible also. But it shouldn't just be, like, a bead swap, right? It needs to be things that are more uh, paper craft related. And then three things that are handmade, uh, like, embellishment type things, right? So... We'll do that in the next video, and 
okay, so I have these guys, and then I want to use this stuff somehow. So I don't really even know what this, <laughs> where this begins or what, but I really don't care. I'm just going to cut it up anyway. So let me clean up just a little bit, and I'll be right back. I like ended, but like I said, it's all raggedy and weird anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know if I'm just going to glue this down or how, but let's say we had something like that. I'm just going to cut that piece off. So this is from the Dollar Tree, and I literally saw this at Joanne when I went by there. And uh, they wanted, obviously, more money for it. Same thing. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, interesting. And I can use this one, the other one. Just something to put back here. I'm trying to see how this thing opens. <laughs> kind of weird stuff. Okay, let's say we have that there. And let's say we have our little haunted house. Again, it's a lot of black background. And we have this little guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, the tombstone. Oh my gosh, you guys. See, this just... You start getting all these different ideas. Because I was like, oh, maybe I should do the little tombstone from um, Diamond Press. That would be really cute. Because the little haunted house kind of shrinks away anyway. But really, I just want those things to be like accent pieces. Like this can be back here and that would be fine with me. Okay, so actually, let's do that. Go ahead and stick this guy back here. Oh, a moon. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to take the circle die and I'm going to cut out like a gold moon just to add some more color. Okay, I'll be right back. So from that same die set from Spellbinders, I just uh, grab myself a little moon, a little something. Okay, so I'm going to just glue that down. We'll get this going in a minute. And you can use your hot glue, whatever. But I feel like this one needs something a little more like that. And I really want to glue this down, so I'm going to hold that down, too. Okay, I'm going to hold that down, and I will be right I'm back. I'm playing around with this part. Okay. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to do is put a little glue, like, back in here. I don't really know how else to hold this down on here. Not when I make a mess. I just want it to sit on there. And then here, too. I'm going to open this up a little more. I just push that down right there. That way we can mess with that in just a little bit. And then this guy, I'm thinking maybe he should come up over the top. So if he does that, I'm going to put definitely hot glue. Hold that on. Okay. And then this guy can come up in here somewhere. And then this little guy can be in here somewhere. Again, it's just fun. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that cracks me up. Okay. And... Ooh, I'm gonna get... A good glob of glue on this guy. I might still do like a happy Halloween up here or something like that. Some kind of sentiment, so that's kind of why I'm leaving that area open. But just, you know, have fun with it. Um, I know one of my gals asked if it's okay if it's spooky. I'm like, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's Halloween. Um, okay. Let's put that guy in. His little legs will be there. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I should leave him that way. Oh, this is so funny. No, I'm not going to do anything. I could take his legs out of that joint, you know, and kind of do whatever you want with. But I'm not going to do that. I'll just leave him like this. Oh, no. Okay, buddy. Should we just glue his body down so his... Still, his head moves and everything? Maybe. <laughs> so what I was thinking, since his little eyes are kind of recessed there, is maybe I can pop in some gemstones in there. And I thought I had red ones. Let me see if I can find some red stones that I can put in there. I'll be right back. I found some of these. Now, I'm not going to just glue them down with what stickiness this has. I'm going to definitely put a little hot glue, but I'm going to have it ready. So I can do this. A little bit of hot glue. Oh. Okay. Of course, my allergies are acting up right this moment. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So I'll do the same thing with the next eye, too. Have this ready. A little hot glue in there. And don't pick away those little strands until you're done, because if you pull on them, it'll definitely pull your project. But if you just wait till these harden, you know, then you're good to go. Oh my gosh, you guys, how cute is that? 
Let me clean up just a little bit and we'll reassess. Okay, guys. So there's our little box so far. And you know what? I think I was thinking about what stamps I might have. And I thought, oh, you know what? Those perfect um, sentiments. So the boo can definitely go on here. Now it's bigger and it has its own little um, thing going on here, but I think that's okay. So what I'm going to do is probably cut this out of like a purple or something else that's Halloween y. I'll be right back though. Okay. Got my little boo here. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Where is my Spellbinders tool? Nowhere to be found. Okay, so I'll just try to see if I can find ejector buttons on this that aren't just to get rid of the little scraps, you know. Here we go. Aw. There's just some purple glitter. That was in that same pack I showed you guys. And... <laughs> That was a card. It sounded like a... I don't know what it sounded like. Okay, perfect. You know, I'll put it like that. Just so it's not straight. And I will glue it with regular glue. So I'm just going to put some glue on it and then hold that down. And that is my little embellished creation. Again, yours doesn't have to be super bulky or anything like that. It's whatever your style is, that's great. But you have to put at least four or more items on there. Okay. Uh, let me put this down. So these are just ideas. I know other times I've used like my Cricut and things like that to help me out, but okay, I'm going to hold that down and I'll be right okay, back. Guys, I thought I cleaned up pretty well, but I guess not. <laughs> Still a few things here. But that is one of my cases and that would make another one pretty much exactly the same. So if you run out of your paper or you want to use a different paper, you know, try to make them as identical as you can. Um, a lot of times people will put them in a plastic uh, bag, you know, to put everything together so I can pretty much see through if the top looks different I might just show it right quickly but I'm not going to open both of them and go through both of them you know so just make sure they're identical as you can get them and um, just have fun with it again four or more embellishment items obviously this has lace it has two layers of paper it has the you know this little scene back here it has the boo it has this you know the uh, um, spiderweb here I was going to say snowflake I don't know why uh, the uh, little spider of course our little skeleton with his little red eyes which I think is really fun and um, I mean just lots of different ways that we have that gauze in the back so obviously a lot of extra things and then in the next video we will fill this in um, you know I don't have everything that I'm going to fill in here yet because obviously we're in towards mid-September I guess end of September really so there's a few other items I'm sure I'm gonna find that I would like to put in here but so far I have like rhinestones and beads and ribbon and washi tape and some other fun things um, stickers if I can get the I got the little people that are from like um, Tim Holtz I don't know if they're small enough to fit in here though so if I can do that I will um, but anyway uh, some people add a little something so you can put a little spoon like if you put um, little half pearls which I'll definitely do I actually also bought some half pearls uh, at Joanne that are Tim Holtz that are really cute um, again you don't have to fill up the whole space but just a good amount right like if you're doing half pearls you don't have to put in 1500 of them you know you can put in 20 or 30 whatever it is that looks like in a good amount it doesn't have to fill up the whole space as far as those go right like I said appropriately fill, full of whatever the item is right so if it's like these flowers are a little bigger maybe you can only put two or three in there okay that's fine pearls I wouldn't dare say oh yeah it needs to be filled up because obviously unless you want to right um I know I have some from Hobby Lobby that are like tons of them I can do that and then like Tim Holtz the case is as small as this and you know they're like six dollars so I would say I'd put half in here and half in the other or whatever right something like that um just you know sensible <laughs> and generous at the same time right you want to put your best foot forward whenever you enter a swap and so that is one of my cases I'll do the second one exactly the same and then um, I will talk about the handmade card in this one because I'm not going to take the time to make a handmade card you guys see that every day for me so basically just a handmade card up to five by seven I don't mind slim lines it's just that they sometimes will get crushed because it, it takes up the space behind this one into the next thing and so sometimes you know they get a little wonky so I would say no bigger than five by seven but if you want to make a slim line no that's fine too this is a pocket, or not pocket, this is an A4, like a pocket or mini slim line. Those are all cute. Um, this is an A4, and you guys saw me make this card, and this is kind of the thing, you know, I would say, I said uh, your handmade card needs to have three or more layers or embellishment items. So we have an embossed paper in the background. We have this die cut. We have the gal that's all colored in. We have even, like, the little um, stamped cat. And then, of course, the drop shadow word. So that's three or more embellishment, right? So I would put that together. I would put an envelope with this guy, and that is 
that and then we'll fill it in and then I already showed you guys in the initial sign up video uh, what I was going to do for my treat bag again your treat bag can be whatever you want it doesn't have to be a bag it can just be something extra that you add in however you want to package it not too bulky again this needs to go inside um, the uh, flat rate padded envelope and I'll show you guys that when we're done right in the next video I'll fill this in and I'll show you how I'm gonna package mine up and you guys can do whatever you like it doesn't have to be specially packaged but you know nicely so it's con like contained right alright guys well thanks for watching this was a lot of fun I was just like oh this and this and, oh well, I should do that <laughs> that's exactly what I want you know so anyway have a good time um, again like I said there was a there were a couple spaces open I don't know if they still are but um, it that will be in the description box of course alright guys thanks for watching I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.